Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm gonna say our blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Eloheinu, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people. Israel, may we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Bless you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed you, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the Universe, who has who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Bless you, Adonai, give her the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Yeah. Our first read is Mark 3, 7 through 19. Yeshua withdrew with his disciples to the sea and a great crowd followed from Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and Edomia. And from beyond the Jordan, and from around Tyre and Sidon, when the great great crowd heard all that he was doing, they came to him, and he told his disciples to have a boat ready for him, because the crowd, lest they crush him. For he had healed many, so that all who had disease pressed around him to touch him. And whenever the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, "You are the son of Elohim!" And he strictly ordered them not to make him known. And he went up on the mountain, and he called to him those whom he desired. And they came to him, and he appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, so that they might be with him, and he might send them out to preach. And have authority to cast out demons, he appointed the twelve, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Bornich, Bornages, that is, son of thunder, Andrew and Philip, Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James and the son of Alf, James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus and Simon the Zealot and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. All right. Luke two twenty two to twenty four. And when the time came for their Purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to Yahweh. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who first opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. John 19.31-37 Since it was the day of preparation, and so that the bodies would not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for Sabbath was a high day. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken, and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, and of the other that who had been crucified with him. When they came to Yeshua, they saw that he was already dead. They did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. And he saw... It has borne witness. His testimony is true, and he knows that he is telling the truth, that you may also that you also may believe. For these things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled, not one of his bones will be broken. And again, another scripture says they will look on him whom they have pierced. Alright. Blessed art thou, Lord our God King. Or Adonai Eloheinu, King of the Universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst, blessed art thou, O Lord, or Adonai, give her the Torah, Brukata Adonai Eloheinu, Malach Alom, Asenata Lenutri, Met, Baishi Alom, Natabetikinu, Brukata Adonai, Natina Torah.